Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for treating women and children like that. That's why you dead, you piece of- Oh. Fuck! What the what? I thought it was all fun and games, but the war is full of surprises that one should not move forward without officially confirming the end of the battle. As for the chapter, it is a great bonding moment filled with sincere developments for Skuyo and even QB, only for it takes a turn to go dark with its surprises. It only reinforces that this is far from over. After the last chapter, I was happy to see the end of Ogai and how the heroes finally overcome the struggle. He was tough as hell, so naturally, seeing his men's reaction is a great sight to see. Not that they lost their leader, it's the feeling of satisfaction that I was waiting for. There is a fun segment as they stand triumphant and Gintoki speaks out for them. It was great to see him standing up for them, that is until he yells out that these women are gorillas. Way to choose the words carefully guy. I like how they particularly make fun of the notion that women have to be stereotyped. Even Kagura steps in and reflects that she is the lolly of the series, even though she has no class to dignify that the status of Earth's women, let alone she's not human. Although it is a funny segment, it does segue to Skuyo and her development, which is handled profoundly. The flashback with Hinawa and Skuyo it's a delightful scene that honestly I didn't even know about their names mean sun and moon respectively. I have myself to blame for not realizing it. That said, it has a swell moment between the two as Skuyo has to know when to step out and let others take care of themselves. She may be the protector of Yoshiwara and she has a lot of pride in it, but she has to step out and give in trust with others. I really like how they finally address this event since now Edo needs any reinforcement they can gather. It has a great use of metaphorically speaking of sun and moon as well as the stars. It's easy to understand and seeing Skuya taking one major step speaks a lot of volume. I have to address this and it is part of her development. It appears that she finally came in terms that she loves Gintoki and accepts that she will always be a woman no matter where she goes. This is also a major step for her character though it only makes me sad that this series is definitely ending. Then again, this revelation probably has fans going wild for this moment so it is all good. She has not told them but that may be on hold for later but I can't guarantee at the moment. However, it follow up by a great bonding moment between her and QB. The last chapter reflected that these two have similarities about womanhood. It's appropriate to interact and share common belief. The theme of the chapter is their view on being a woman and it was done in a sincere way. I was enjoying every moment of it. It's amazing on how one moment to see them interact for the first time can feel so genuine that you wouldn't think this is the first. These two can truly relate and can understand their faults. Skuyo thought it was silly to even think of something like, I want to die by your side, yet QB thought it's a normal feeling. It gives the other side of fighting the war. People will fight for their loved one and want to be on their side, men or women. No one is really different. This is a right way to address the equality of genders. She even said that being born as a woman is not so bad. All of those developments paid off dearly. I love how both of them talking about hanging out after this is all over. It's so great. A lot of action displayed in this chapter as everyone starts to fight back. It has a good mix of comedy, beating the crap out of the enemy, and a touching moment. It is more elaborated with his dialogues and imagery including the flashback, the way how Skuyo was leaving and her soldier were waiting for her by the door show great loyalty, leaving a great impact. The talk between QB and Skuyo is charming with delighted expression. The chapter is filled with joyful moments. And then Sorochi decides to hurt the fan once more. I yell when I saw all guys weapon thrown right at QB and think, oh. You gotta be shitting me! The way how the chapter quickly becomes so dark and the sense of happiness completely vanished got me chills. Old guy being alive got me thinking. I thought I know this war sets up. I was wrong. How the hell can he still be alive? He drops a hint as someone cut his horn before. I don't know if that's something to be concerned. I'll keep my eye on that. To make matter worse, 
Shinra clan has arrived so it's not about taking turn it's anything goes in the war as it should be but not like this Sotasu tells Olga that the cannon is not operating anymore so now they know the war is escalating for the worse Otosa brings Gengai with her and appears to offer him to them huh Surely there's a plan behind this, but this cliffhanger has gotten me anticipated. The series holds no rules or formulas, is expected to see something differently than what you probably have seen others follow. That said, this chapter is great, thanks to fun moments, great interactions, and enticed cliffhanger. It's time to hope for more reinforcement to arrive, and you know who I'm referring to the most. I'm giving this chapter a 9. What a great chapter. I like every moment of it, including the dark turn by the end of the chapter. But what can you do? This is how Sorochi plays out. I have to address a little bit further about Skuyo and her love for Skin Toki. I can't guarantee there's going to be any canon pairing for this series, especially involving with Gin Toki. I don't want to say they will be, I don't want to say they won't be. You never know, anything goes with this series. If it happens, great. What do you think about the chapter? Do you find the bond between QB and Sukuyo really genuine? You want to see more of that? Because I kind of want to see more of that, even though the series is going to end right after this arc. It would be nice to see some little bit of uh, extra chapters, but uh, one man can dream. My thoughts are told, don't let yours on hold. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.